This latest headline about that, China buying more U.S. goods. I, I know the dollar amount itself still falls short of what the U.S. is saying, but these products like soybeans, coal, seems to really hearken into the Trump country here. Do you think this is a big enough offer for the U.S. and China to avoid a trade war? Well, part of the offer from the Chinese perspective is that um, uh, we Chinese, able, Chinese will buy all that stuff from you, but on the condition that you don't pursue your Section 301 action against uh, trade technology transfer, et cetera. And I, I think that's going to, frankly, cause a, a bit of a stalemate here. Um, there's going to be a pause in the action anyway, uh, because the administration has got to prepare for Singapore and also G7 in Ottawa. Um, uh, with the, our allies over at Section 232. So in the time being, I think there's a pause, um, but there's still a stalemate between the two countries. Yeah, you've talked before about how tariffs uh, can't exactly back down or do anything to back down Made in China 2025. And I want to bring up a quote here from um, a professor in Peking University, Michael Pettis, talking a little bit about that, saying, look, the U.S. should probably relax its pressure about high-tech China and the threat that it actually has. He is saying here that the fear of China is a form of paranoia. I tell my friends in Washington, yes, step up the pressure a bit, but China is not the great existential threat that you think it is. China is not going to become the dominant superpower of the 21st century. And Pettis' argument, Max, seems to be that there, there is a lot of political will, but in terms of reforms that it takes to become an innovator in China, that might be quite scary for a country like China. Is the U.S. overestimating the ability for China to innovate and dominate future industries? Well, ignorance breeds fear. Um, and um, a lot of Americans are quite fearful about China's 2025 program because they're not quite sure what it's all about. And it's important for China, I think, to be much more transparent, to be open and, um, and, and tell the world you know, what it's all about and find ways to share. Um, all this comes down to trust. Americans are very, uh, at least significantly, distrustful of China's uh, technology aspirations. And for that to be resolved, I very much hope there cannot be a, a high-tech war, because that's going to spill over into other areas. I very much hope that uh, the United States and China sit down and begin to find ways to find, uh, where they can beneficially, mutually find ways to cooperate so each country is, is, is the beneficiary. That's a lot of hard work. It's going to take listening to the other side, um, curiosity both ways. But I think that's the central focus that both countries should pursue. Ambassador, I want to try to get a little bit more detail in terms of China's position with the U.S. because it seems like there's a bit of a carrot as well as a stick here. Uh, the carrot, of course, with the $25 billion that Yvonne just mentioned, but the stick uh, on the Bloomberg terminal we we're just talking about uh, in terms of cutting installations for solar panels, that obviously is taking a big hit in terms of the United States. First solar just uh, plunging today. Uh, based on your experience, uh, who's going to blink first? I, I think generally Americans uh, do not sufficiently understand and tend to underestimate uh, uh, the strength of China mm -hmm. and that, that China has a, probably a stronger stomach to deal with these tensions than do Americans because China is authoritarian. They've got the wind at their back. Um, they feel good about their future. Uh, whereas the United States is a democracy, has to deal with all various different congressional districts. I, I think that it's very important for the United States to, to, to not underestimate China's strength and China's willingness to, in the old phrase, taste bitter. Chinese are very strong and will, will have, there's more resilience, I think, there than most Americans realize.